Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. My name is Tanya. Today we're going to do something completely different. I am canning. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to be canning. And what I'm canning is grape jelly. Yes, we do everything on this show. Soup to nuts, my friends. What I have here, come to the pot. The first pot. And look what I got, my friends. Can you see? What this is, is I got, what, one, two, three, four, six little jars, six pint jars, and the covers in here, and I'm boiling them down, okay? Because we're going to put the jelly in these jars, so they have to be cleaned and steamed and hot and ready to go. That's the criteria. And here, I have three big packages of dark grapes. I've stemmed them, I've washed them. And I also had some green grapes. I don't know how many it would be, like maybe half a pint of green grapes I added to this. I also added some three fourths of a cup of water, five cups of sugar. You need to have enough sugar to make it sweet. Sometimes they call for more than that, but I'm using five. And then a hint of nutmeg I grated in that's my spice because it's everything spice even my jelly is gonna be spiced and I got the recipe from the book I have which is you can can from better homes and gardens and it's the old-fashioned grape jelly recipe there we go old-fashioned which is what canning is right you could go to the store and buy it that's true Ain't gonna be as good as what I'm making today, I'll tell you what, right now. So I'm gonna stir this up, all the sugar, all this flavor, and I'm gonna put that all together. This is gonna boil down into a jam. And then what I'm gonna do is ladle it into my hot, steamed and ready jars. And I'm gonna show you how that works so that you can do it at home. Yes, it's old fashioned. Yes, it's not something everybody does every day. But so what? Why can't we be different? Do you know our ancestors did it? Maybe your grandparents even did it. They canned things to preserve summer's harvest, right? Now I know it's fall, but we can still can things that are in even the stores if we don't have the farmer's market. You can go to the farmer's market, you can get some fruit and you can put it in jelly jars. Do you know how awesome that would be as a gift for somebody? And these are the jars, just in case you wanna go to your local store and get one. These are the jars that I'm using. So all of this and the lids and the covers go into the water so that they are steamed and sterilized. You want them completely sterilized in hot jars. In the hot jar, it's a science, creates this seal it'll seal tight so that way no germs or bacteria gets inside your jelly so let me cook down my grapes i'm bubbling and boiling away with my jars and when i return i'm going to show you what it looks like these make great gifts give it a try when you have a sunday it's sunday my friends we're canning baby okay welcome back now this is taking a few hours to do this I've even used like a potato masher to crush some of these grapes. I'll show you what it looks like. It's very thick, but it's still whole, kind of relatively whole. Not really, I mean, some of them are whole and some of them aren't, but it's thick enough now that we can get to the ladling of it and squishing of it, that portion of, of the program. Let me get this out of the way, okay. So what are you gonna do with this? We got the we have the sweetener in here, about five to seven cups of sugar, right? We have a bunch of I had like three or four packages of grapes, and I also used some green grapes as well. And a little bit of nutmeg for spice. Everything spice. I got a colander. And one of these now they do have the ones that are kind of like more uh what would you say they cylinder like and they come out um specific for this but i don't have one of those i do have it i have everything but i don't have 
I don't know where I put it. So I'm just going to do this. What I'm going to do is separate the skins from the liquid. So I'm ladling it into this. I'm going to crush it just a bit. And I might have to do this a few times. And obviously, there's so much juicier that I'm going to have to do it in batches. But let me do that now. And I'm just going to crush it just a bit on the way down. Some people use cheesecloth, but this is a really fine colander, so I don't really need to use cheesecloth with this. And if bits of grape get in, oh well. It's rustic. That's what we call that. So I'm just going to crush a little bit and see how it's going into the colander. I might do that a few times, have a residual bowl out for the skins and do that a few times. As I said, six times already. A few times. Say it one more time. And when I come back, I'll show you what we're going to do with the juice of this Greatacular episode. Hang with me. We're at the home stretch almost. All right, I'm back. So with this pot, we have all of these sanitized and they're all warm. And I have this funnel where we're going to put the mixture in once it's thickened. All our lids are out, our ladle. And this is what we have to use. It's a liquid pectin. And it has to be while it is boiling. And then what you do is, once it's boiling, you're gonna mix it in until you get a thick mixture and you stir it, okay? And then what'll happen is it'll thicken really nicely and then you'll be able to ladle it in. And after you ladle it in, you're gonna boil it in the double boiler that we have here. About a half hour to an hour, process it. So let's stir the pot. All right, my son's holding it while I put it in. Let's try this. Let's see what happens here. Look at that. It's like a, almost like a gel. Yo. Jelly. Jelly, jelly. Okay, and mix all this jelly in to the desired thickness that you want your mixture to be. So keep stirring it in. Oh, look at that. It's already thickening. Mm -mm -mm. And once it's completely incorporated, that's when you're going to let it boil for a minute more to truly thicken. And then you're going to ladle it in. But let's try to get this completely stirred in so there's no chunks or pieces in this. So I'll just give me a minute here and I'm going to see what happens. Because you do want a, obviously a jelly consistency, right? Not a liquidy consistency. So it keeps stirring and stirring and stirring some more. And then what will happen is if there's any foam at the top, I mean, you can't really tell right now because I'm stirring. Once it, I let it go to thicken a little bit on its own, if there's any like this stuff, you're going to skim that off. So let me keep going until I get to the desired consistency and then I'll be back for us to ladle it in. Okay, now this is the part we're going to ladle. See how it's nice and thickened and there's no more foam at the top. All of the foam I got into this bowl. That's all the foam that I was able to skim off. All right, so what we're going to do now is have my son hold us again. Hold his son. There we go. Thank you. Keep it on that. And what I had to do too was all of the skins, what I showed you before, is I took the skins and I pressed them down. I did have to do it about three or four times in order to get most of the, like, the residual juice. So here's what I'm going to do. Just back up a little bit. I have this container. Can you push it over here so they can see that? Thank you. Like right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is ladle and put this in and ladle it in so that there's not a mess, but you know how I am, right? If it ain't a mess, you ain't doing it right. So I'm gonna ladle it in until I fill it almost to the top, say like that. You gotta leave at least a little bit of space to close the lid. About an inch like that, that's perfect. Let's go on to the next one. See how it looks? 
perfection. Move on to the next one. And keep going until they're all ladled in. And then we're going to cover them with the lids. Make sure not too much. Don't put too much because then it won't close right. And it has to have a little bit of room when it's in the water bath to move. So I'm going to keep filling them up and then I'll come back and show you the rest. All right, it's lid time. So I'm going to put all these lids on top, sealing the deal. I have extra jelly that I'm going to have to probably process more at another time. But there was a lot of... So make sure that there's, say there's a little bit of room to grow and expand when you put them in. They're super hot, so be careful. As you know, I have asbestos hands from touching hot things, so that doesn't affect me as much as it would other people, but this jar is very, very hot. So I might want to use a towel or something like that. Make sure that you cover them, but you don't cap them like super tight. Tight enough that no water is going to get in, right? But not like... <sighs> there needs to be some expansion. So I'm covering all of these, making sure that they're even. Two more. It's going to make six jars of jelly. And then I'm going to put them in the water and start the water back up again to come to a boil. I'm not going to put them in boiling water right now, obviously, because you're going to burn yourself. Okay, and then you're going to process them for about a half hour to an hour and then when you take them out pop and they're gonna seal it's so cool stay with me all right so this is it look at my beautiful jars i just took them out of the boiling hot water and some of them are already pop popping away look at how beautiful these are you can tighten them later but let them sit there for a minute. Let them pop. And the popping basically is that it's sealing it. So it's sealing it shut against any bacteria, any germs. And these are my grape jelly jars. I added a few more, so I have nine all together. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and join me next time for Everything Spice. Be safe, everyone.